Hi, today I'm going to show uh, installation of a high-powered inline uh, bathroom extraction fan. So the extraction rate on this is 552 cubic meters an hour and I've actually got uh, the inline fan fitted at the moment which is 100 cubic meters an hour. We've also got this fan in here as well. Okay, I've got the fan here, instructions here, let's open it up and have a look. Obviously I've got everything in place already in the loft. Uh, so it should just be a, an easy switch, I guess it's just the issue now is probably mounting this. Does it need to be mounted slightly higher or an angle or something? I think generally it's just kept flat on a surface. So I'll have to have a look how I did it previously. Just a complete swap. Here you go. Uh, the terminal's there. Obviously, one of them for the timer, and you've got the timer which is here. So, there, um, and these are just connectors, I guess. They look straightforward. So, just pull out the existing wires and put this in. So, let me get into the loft and I'll try showing you what's there at the moment and pull out the wires and replace them. Okay, before I install, uh, let me just show you another little feature of this um, inline fan. So there's two screws, one there and one there. And what it is, if you need to do any sort of maintenance or anything, cleaning up or anything, if these are all fitted both ends, um, there is an easy way to pull this out. So you take the screws out, uh, you can unclip it here, it comes off, and that comes off and then you can just sort of slide this out if I can show it. So there you go, it just pop straight out. So, yeah. Okay, so I'll proceed to um, replace it now. Alright, so I've just entered the loft area. Here's the ducting. And there's the existing inline fan. There's some more ducting. And then it goes straight down to the ceiling of the bathroom. So I'm going to disconnect this and this. So they're the things that are blocking the ducting um, to the actual existing inline fan. And then it should just come away. And I can work on um, fitting the new one thinking this may not be enough. I've got some additional amount of this insulated ducting so let me work on taking this out first. Okay I've managed to disconnect the um, existing inline fan and just to show you the difference in size there's the new one here's the old one so I'll just I've isolated the power, I'll just disconnect this and I'll just plug it, uh, wire it into this then. Okay, here we have the inline fan fitted now. Um, I've got a bit of extra conduit, so I'll, sorry, um, ducting, so I'll try and trim that later on. Just to show you the sound levels, it is quite loud. Let's test it in the shower now. Okay, here we have the inline fan. Just tidied up the insulation now. As you can see, it starts off just where the hole is in the ceiling. Extracts straight up. So no real major bends. Just tidy up the area now. Just put some of the insulation back again. And there you go. Thanks for viewing. Okay, we have the um, inline fan installed now. I just wanted to show the sound levels. So if you listen. made a hell of a lot of difference. So 
as you're having a shower, we're not seeing any steam in the area anymore. There you go, thanks for viewing.